to make it work. And I'm already, like, if I sell him a job, the contract is going to state that if he cannot for because of reasons beyond his control, keep the dog, that I have to find a home for the dog. He's not finding a home for the dog. Because people will do that, and, you know, this, that's not why I did this like this. It's not, I wanted to be able to pick the right people for the puppies. Not that we have any people, but this 85-year-old man that called me yesterday or two days ago from the ad, I was like, oh, for God's sake, thank you that he isn't. He said, oh, I thank you for um, having me, you know, come today, but $1,300 is too much for me. Well, he thought I said 300 on the phone. Oh, oh right. Okay. Well, back in the day, maybe, but. Mom, he's 85. I don't know. He was up there. He was up there. And he said he had a run in the back for the dog. You oh. know, like a run that was tied to two pokes. Who's that? Gracie. <laughs> Doesn't that piss you off? I just can't find the other one. On. I have one, two, three, four, five is under the van. Come on, girls, in the back. In the back. One. There she is. Two, three. This way. Come on. This way. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, they're like, we're free. Oh, they're loving this. We're out of the boxes. We're out of the cages. Know where they can get out of. Well, yes, you see that front fence, Scott. Below, we have it covered, but it needs to be the tier up. Huh? Ready? Oh, come on.